How far should the United States be willing to go to achieve its goals overseas? Are we willing to pay any price? Or are there limits to the burdens we are willing to bear? I'm Jim Lindsay, and this is Lessons Learned. Our topic today is John F. Kennedy's inaugural address delivered on January 20th, 1961. Kennedy took the oath of office at a time, much like today, when the country was filled with self-doubt. Today, there are questions about the rise of China and a faltering economy. Then it was the specter of communism on the march. Soviet leader Nikita Khrushchev had vowed to bury the United States, and it looked like that just might happen. Kennedy, however, rose to the moment and gave one of the most stirring inaugural addresses ever delivered. It is remembered for one line in particular. Let every nation know, whether it wishes us well or ill, that we shall pay any price, bear any burden, meet any hardship, support any friend, oppose any foe to assure the survival and the success of liberty. This much we pledge and more. The brilliance of Kennedy's 14-minute speech was widely recognized at the time. The Washington Post wrote that his inaugural address was surely one of the most eloquent ever delivered, a verdict that I think holds true today. And Kennedy's speech undeniably inspired a generation of Americans. What it didn't do, however, is accurately describe the attitude of the American public. As Kennedy and his successors discovered over the next decade in Vietnam, there were in fact very real limits to the burden the American public was willing to bear in the pursuit of foreign policy. The broader lesson here is that in pursuing any foreign policy, it's important to assess not just the benefits of a particular course of action, but also its costs. A wise foreign policy tries to balance the two and to make an assessment whether public support exists to continue that foreign policy in the future. That is an issue to keep in mind as we talk about issues today like North Korea's nuclear program or the nuclear activities of Iran or how to deal with a troublesome ally such as Pakistan. At the end of the day, foreign policy is about assessing costs and be benefits and trying to keep them in balance. That was true when John F. Kennedy gave his inaugural address on a snowy morning in 1961, and it's true today. Remember, it's important to look to the past to get guidance and information about the present and the future. Or as the philosopher George Santayana once wrote, a country without a memory is a country of madmen.